Hey guys, so we have an awesome test here between the best Sony and the best iPhone. So let's go right to it. Now I did a poll on Twitter asking you guys which comparison you want to see next. And of course these two phones were the winners. Now in terms of the first test, boot up. We have advantage for the Sony. Now that said, the iPhone is going to be extremely tough to beat for most of the tests. Uh, especially for the battery life, the speakers, and the cameras. And the iPhone is up. Alright guys, now for the specs. The Sony is a 4K display. Now on the front, the iPhone has an extra camera. And on the back, both phones have three. Now the iPhone has more storage, but the Sony supports micro SD. The iPhone has a larger battery, but the Sony has more RAM. Both phones are water resistant. And the iPhone is more expensive. Now at the bottom we have Type-C versus the Lightning port. And unfortunately no headphone jacks. And on the back both are glass. Alright guys let's get to it. Alright guys, get into it. Reddit. Sony. eBay. Sony. Spotify. Sony. YouTube. So, excellent started for the Sony. Now guys, I will say the iPhone will do a much better job for most of the other tests. Instagram They're gonna be a lot more competitive But yeah for basic apps a very easy winner for the Sony Now iFunny should be the iPhone Yep iFunny advantage for the iPhone Amazon shopping Should be the Sony And photos So this is the final basic app And it's gonna find a photo for each uh, For the RAM part just to make the mode tasking a bit tougher. And we'll go with some Instagram photos. All right, so now for gaming. Now first we have PUBG. Now the iPhone is not lost yet for PUBG. And it's looking like no exception here. Uh, very impressive for the A13. Temp run. So, temp run advantage for the Sony. Mario. Usually a bit quicker on the Sony. Yep, a slight advantage for the Sony. Asphalt. Which is usually a bit faster for the iPhone. iPhone. And now for the big one of Fortnite. Now guys, the iPhone Fortnite app has a lot of issues with it. So you're gonna see here, uh, it's gonna take an extremely long time after you restart your phone. So the Sony right here is gonna connect pretty quickly. So we have the option here for play. Now for the iPhone, it's gonna go to 99% here. And it's just gonna take a very, very long time to optimize. So it's gonna fast forward.
Okay, and the Sony is up. Alright guys, so it says VOG in here. Now I am logged into it. So I'm gonna press VOG in, and I'm gonna press skip, and then yes, find my account. Now for here, again guys, I am signed in, so I'm not actually gonna press anything. See, the fields are blank. Uh, but if you wait about two or three seconds, See, it automatically signs me in, even though I'm ready. <laughs> I know it's very confusing, but for the iPhone app, guys, it's really having a lot of issues. So again, it's gonna keep fast forwarding. And by the way, guys, I am on the latest version of iOS. Okay, so the iPhone is up. Now, after this, we're gonna close out and go back in. Because the iPhone is a lot quicker after you close out and go back in. Although, uh, for the past two weeks, guys, I've had a pretty bad issue. Uh, the apps had a pretty bad issue. So, I don't think it's gonna properly load for the iPhone. What's gonna happen here is the iPhone's gonna be quicker for this part. And yeah, I've done like half a dozen practice tests, so I know exactly what's gonna happen. So the iPhone is quicker for this part. Now the Sony comes up at this point. Now right here, guys, it goes to this black Epic Games voting screen and it's not gonna come out of this. It's just gonna stay here. All right, so the Sony is up and it's not gonna go to this black screen. It's just gonna go straight to the title screen. Now, we're gonna try one one final time. It will work for the final time, but you know guys, I mean, these are some pretty bad issues. Okay, so again, the iPhone is a bit quicker here. And this time, the iPhone is going to go straight to the title screen. Or not. Man, guys, this, this happens so frequently, uh, so often now. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have these kind of glitches on your iPhone. Uh, really, it's only happened within the past couple weeks, so. And generally, if I do it three times, it works, but... Yeah, once again, guys. So, obviously here for Fortnite, a uh, pretty big advance for the Sony. Okay, so we're not gonna try a fourth time, but we're just gonna leave it like this. And we'll just give the Sony a couple seconds. All right, so now for Geekbench. And we'll run this in a few. Time now for Chrome vs Safari. And it's an acquired the web history. Okay, so first website, IGN. Sony. And we go by when the website loads, but not the ads. So that was advanced for the Sony. Just want to be consistent with how we usually do it. Next up, we have IMDb. And it looked like a slight advantage for the Sony. Sony.com. And advantage for the Sony. Finally, we have Apple. And of course, Advantage for the iPhone. So overall, Advantage for the Sony. And we'll just do one final site. Uh, Teamtrees.org, Mr. Beast Campaign. Team Trees. I don't know why it does this, guys. Uh, for the iPhone, I, I was definitely pressing the right thing. 
Let's try one final time. Teamtrees.org. And instead, I'll just press go in the bottom right. So it looks like it would have been a bit faster for the Sony. I'll actually put the exact time codes below. Eyes of Glory, no copyright. And now for the speakers. All right, so first you have the Sony. iPhone. Back to Sony. And a few more seconds. So pretty good quality on both. Excellent quality on both, but the iPhone has a better base. And now for battery. All right, so check in in a few hours. All right, so it's been about three and a half hours. And we have a pretty easy win here for the iPhone. Now, this is really an area that the Sony has to improve in. The battery is way too small. So now we have face unlock versus the fingerprint. Now I did to a chance to make this a bit simpler for the Sony. So both are pretty quick. I mean, it really comes down to which method you prefer. All right guys, so now for RAM. Now for the Sony, we have a restart, so advantage for the iPhone. Now the iPhone actually has less RAM, 4 versus 6. But I will say guys, the iPhone iOS is a lot better optimized. Spotify. iPhone. Yeah, I mean I'd say the Sony it could have used a bit more RAM, either 8 or 12 gigabytes. Good job there. Instagram. Excellent. So bad start for the Sony, but now starting to hold stuff. I funny. And we might have a, uh, yeah, it's an in-app refresh. So not a problem. Amazon shopping. iPhone. Photos. Now, the iPhone did not keep its place here. Uh, did not load up the photo that we clicked on. So that's advantage for the Sony. So now for the big stuff we have gaming. 
Okay, excellent job for PUBG. Temp run. Excellent. So yeah, the gaming is obviously more important because you don't want to be waiting. Uh, waiting like a minute or losing your progress. Mario. Perfect. That was weird. I thought I pressed it for the iPhone, but maybe not. Mario. Okay. So now we have asphalt. Excellent. And now for Fortnite, which remember guys, it did not fully load up for the iPhone. So that is really good job there for the Sony. And now for Geekbench. And run it. So the answer for the iPhone, and by the way guys, just want to show you something. So obviously we've had a lot of issues here with Fortnite. Now, just want to show you, if you go into, just going into the App Store. So if I search for Fortnite, If you guys see here, so it is on the latest version because it says uh, open here rather than update. So yeah, uh, pretty strange. So now for camera speed. So pretty close. And now look at the front cameras. And the stabilization. And the stabilization. And the book the maximum zoom. And the book the wide angle cameras. Alright guys, let me know in the comments below which phone won. So overall, it's pretty close. But yeah guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next video.